Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Spy Fiction. Last time we found Nick, and Billy shot him in the head. Of course, Sheila's not going to do that. Let's just take a picture of him. A nice picture of Nick doubled over in pain. Let's go take a look at that uh, container that Nick was being held in. Inside, we can find a gun. It's a more powerful gun than what we already had. And we can tell because it's bigger. I want to save that for any boss battles we come across. So last time we destroyed Lauder, and that was a lot easier than you might think it would have been. We know that the CIA is coming to bomb this place now that the virus is out of the way. But when we found Nick, he, uh, he gave us an extension to our mission. We thought our mission was complete. But Nick told us that Dr. Coleman, the one who actually discovered Lauder, is being held captive here. We gotta get the doctor out before the CAA bombs the place. I'll stop the CIA. Go to the prison and rescue the doctor. Back in the hole. Yeah, Sheila doesn't do the little hand gesture. She doesn't cotton to that. So we know that the doctor was apparently an unwilling participant in the creation of Lauder. Dr. Coleman discovered it from what we heard, but it was, uh... Hold on. But it was Kaysen who developed it and weaponized it, apparently. And since Dr. Coleman didn't want to have anything to do with Lauder, apparently that's why the doctor is held captive here. By the way, right now, Billy's wearing Nicholas's sneaking suit. I just wanted to take a picture of Nick from the side so we could get his, uh, costume data without his face data. Just to see what that would look like. It's just a little lighter gray, I think, than Billy's normal suit. I think that has a green light on the back. I'm not sure if Billy has that. But anyway, Nick says he's gonna delay the CIA while we do this thing. I mean, if Lauder's dead, then I guess it's no, not really a big deal if Dr. Coleman dies here, but apparently the doctor's innocent, you know? Apparently that's the case, so we gotta do the right thing. We gotta stick around and, and see this through to the end. And hopefully we don't get blown up by CIA missiles. There are a few different cells to go around here. Uh, most of them you can't enter. Some of them are locked, though, that you can go into. Not a whole lot inside, but a few different items. Like, we got a jammer. We still had a few jammers from last time. Like I said, they block electronic signals. There's really nothing we can do that for right, use that for right now. But we do get to carry them into the next level, like with our other items. So maybe there's something else we'll do with that later on. You know, if uh, Enigma's entire plan hinged on this lauder, then uh, the game is pretty much over, isn't it? You know, the good guys won. Enigma's plan is uh, is over with, really. Since apparently there wouldn't be any way of creating more. Oh. Hidden passage behind those crates. That's what I was looking for. Just a little extra room right here with a bunch of items in it. We can't get into this room normally because those crates are blocking the door. Alright, now that we got all that, let's go get the doctor. You can hear that? Sort of a little knocking noise. Coming from here. You're the 
doctor? Ow! Oh. Ah! I I'm sorry. That's all right. These are still toad. Just surprise me is all. Oh. I'm Bishop. I'm here to rescue you. You must be... Alice. Alice Coleman. Listen, Alice. I don't have time to explain. The CIA is going to vaporize this place. You must trust me, and we'll both get out of here in time. Okay, Doc. Let's get out of here. Now. Oh, crap. Listen. You're gonna have to trust me now. Close your eyes and don't make a sound. This will all be over with soon. That's what Billy says to all the girls. <clears throat> Sorry. Alright, so Billy finally gets what he wants. He gets to kill a whole lot of people with no repercussions. So this is really the, the first big mandatory combat section of the game. The Enigma soldiers are rushing the prison to try to get to the doctor. Just have to hold them off. And with that AI, that it's not too big of a deal. By the way, why is why is Emma Emmerich in this game? I know Swery likes Metal Gear Solid, but I don't know what he senses. Everything seems to be going fine so far. Grenade. Right, so this section, just kill a whole bunch of guys. It seems custom made for Billy Bishop. Nick did a terrible job stopping the CIA. And by any second, Samuel means, uh, 20 minutes. We did hear, uh, Alice give a little scream there, so let's go check it out what's going on in there. What's wrong? Don't tell me the doctor's disappeared. This is bad. I'm on my way. We've got to find her. Alright, so that throws a little complication into things. We do have to get out of here in 20 minutes. But we also don't want to leave without Dr. Coleman. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. Once we get out of here, we're back into the base proper. And guards are still walking around. Because they don't know the place is going to be bombed in 20 minutes. So they're still looking for the intruder. Remember, we set off the alarms. Uh, last time when we destroyed Lotter. So they're still looking around for whoever's broken into the place. Fortunately, we can just turn that off. Well, we don't know why the doctor left her cell. She sounded like she was panicked or something, but there was no one who had a, there was no one approaching the cell, at least that we could see. Alright, it's time for the first boss fight of the game, finally. Shooting the general right now won't actually do much. It'll get him to duck down, but it won't actually hurt him. We can't hurt him right now, anyway. Oh, okay, that's... that's bad. Okay, let's jump back up there. What we have to do is we have to get around to where he is. We saw the path that will lead us there. He actually pointed it out to us. All we have to do at this point really is just, well, heal up would be nice. All we really have to do is just avoid getting shot. We have to take cover so we can get around to where he is. Don't really bother shooting him back. It'll make him duck, but it's good enough just to run straight, uh, take a straight line for it. Now that area that the general just jumped over, that looked like the minefield. Yeah, it is. Fortunately, we have our mine detector, which makes this part pretty easy. 
Otherwise, we just would have had to have remembered where he... Oh, and he... He threw a grenade to blow up the minefield. That was a pretty good idea, I have to say. The general's agile. Not even Billy can jump like that. He was... He was a lot more decrepit when we met him in Greenvale. But anyway, it's, from what he said, it sounded like we were too late, that they have shipped off a, a, ba a batch of lauder. Hold on. We've seen one of these things before. We know how to charge it with our shaver for some reason. It gets this platform to move, since we can't jump like the general. We do have to make use of this platform to get up there. But yeah, we were too late, and it sounds like Enigma is now launching an attack with Lauder. So we'll have to finish off our business with the General, and then see if we can do something about that. Alright, so now we need to get past this little gap, over to where the General is. And these... Hmm. Let's just give him a few... Let's see, grenade? Yeah, okay, let's use that. Just to get him to duck down. Right, so we can charge this up. Now, there are two platforms here. That first thing we charge is moving that platform down there, and that's going to keep moving. This second station... All right. That second station is going to make the second platform move, however, it will stop every so often. Basically, what we're trying to do is to get that platform to... to get that platform to move in such a way so that we'll be able to jump on it and get across this gap. I like how the general set up that whole cage with meat hanging from it over a piranha-filled pool. He just happened to have one of those. You know, just in case maybe he would get to use it someday. He's probably very happy he actually did get to use it. That probably makes this all worth it to him. Yeah, he'll throw grenades at us if we don't shoot him in time. Okay, so that second platform is going to be in the proper position. Now, we just get him to duck down again, so we'll have an opening to jump on that one, the moving one. He'll probably come out one more time. Yeah, there he is. Okay, now we should be able to do this. Oh, that was, that was close. What? Over already? It seems like the general is just wasting time. Maybe he knows that the the, uh, the fighters are coming to blow up the place. Maybe he wants to go down with us. Alright, now an annoying thing about this fight is that the General's Golden Butterflies will knock you down in one hit. And then when you take cover, he just throws grenades at you. So this kind of, is kind of a pain. We're going to take that big gun we just found, and that's going to do more damage. We do want to hide when he's not throwing grenades, otherwise we'll just get knocked down instantly. Okay, now he stops to taunt you. When he does this, I like to throw a... a a gas grenade, and then get shot and fall down. Because the gas grenade will stun him for a couple seconds. That was a bit faster than I remember. Right, so we do want to take cover, even though he does throw the grenades. Because if we don't, we just get knocked down instantly. The general can also dodge very, very quickly 
from one uh, platform to the next. The there are some uh, propane tanks over where he's standing, but I'm not even going to bother trying, trying to aim for those. Time to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the general. If we put on our biosensor, we can see that he's running right at us. And those guns still knock us down in one hit. Now, at this point, he will run after us and try to get us in hand-to-hand -hand combat, which I want to try to avoid. Okay, so he just blew up that propane tank in his own face. Let's heal up a little bit. Put that armor back on. Now, oh. This is the end! Okay, yeah, that's his melee attack. He slits your throat. But it does knock you down, but if he wants to if he wants to melee fight, then let's oblige him. I'm very bad at the melee fighting in this game, by the way. Uh, okay, yeah, he he just resists our scorpion claw. He's the only guy so far who's done that. I wanted to try to do the scorpion claw just to show that. They just shrugs you off. I don't think you can shrug off his uh his, this is the end. his throat slice, though. And he runs faster than you, so you can't this is the end. get away from him like that. Yeah, you do want to make sure you save up as many healing items as you can when going into this fight. Because he... Uh, uh, yeah, you kind of want to get those barrels and boxes in between you and him. So there's something that'll keep him from getting to you. This is the end. I was hoping I would have those knife boots for this fight, so I could do more damage in melee combat. But I, I lost them after that one level. Try to get a piece of me. Think you can? So did the being call. Let's dance. Alright, so with very little health left, the general's standing up on that platform. So, let's finish him off the only way Billy Bishop knows how. By chucking a whole load of grenades at him. about to begin. Get her out of here, right away!
Wow, the general really is one tough guy. I don't know how he survived that being eaten by piranhas so he could show up in Greenville some indeterminate point in the future. So that was the same guy. You're right, so all, everything almost went well. We killed off the general, destroyed the Colombian base, destroyed most of Lauder, but it turns out that a batch of Lauder did get out, and Enigma is about to do something with it. I guess we'll find out next time, uh, but first, before we go, I just want to show the cutscene that you get when you find Dr. Coleman as Sheila. Since our heroes get so few speaking roles, we might as well see all of them. Doctor? Ow! Oh! Ow! Damn! I'm sorry. That's okay. I once had an elephant stomp on my foot. <laughs> Didn't cry then either. Ah! Ow! Oh! Y you are? I'm Sheila. I'm on your side. Dr. Coleman. Alice. My name is Alice Coleman. Listen closely, Alice. I don't have time to explain. The CIA is ready to send in F-117s to destroy this place. You've got to trust me. I can get us out safely. Okay. It's a deal, Dr. C. Oh, crap. Don't worry, Alice. I'll take care of this. Here, just keep quiet and stay put. a pattern here. with all the girls with fish eyes in this game. 